What is up, you guys? All right, so today's day two of having the Canon R5 and really going out and testing it with the Rode Mic Go system. Um, so far, after that first video I made, um, I learned some things about the mic and I also learned some things about the camera. And I kind of set the camera up to the settings I would prefer to shoot at, as well as the settings I would like the mic to be at. So hopefully it's sounding a little better now and a little clearer. Um, and overall, I'm really liking the camera so far. Um, right now, I'm recording at 1080p all internal, so that way, um, at 24 frames, so that way I'm not taking so much memory space, as well as, um, I don't know, not making my computer lag as much later. But um, I'm also using Canon Log. But not Canon Log, it's the neutral, um, neutral log, but it's Log. So um, I'm, I'm gonna be able to bring out more colors, hopefully later, and uh, in editing. But uh, today, I just really wanted to go test out the camera's features as far as like photos and test it out and see how it comes out color-wise. So we're gonna walk around downtown Gilbert. That's where we're at right now. Like if I walk over here, you can kind of see a um, giant water tower right there. So we're just gonna walk around, test out the camera and its capabilities for video and also for photos primarily. So let's go test it out. It's a nice cloudy day. It feels great. And uh, let's go shoot some stuff. Lego. <laughs> Sometimes I like to pretend, like, uh, I like to shoot film a lot, so whenever I'm taking photos with my digital camera, I like to def uh, pretend that my digital camera is my film camera, um, and take limited shots and really, like, stick my framing. Like, even though, like, I know I don't have to, like, I could, even though I know I could take the shot, I don't, because I want to make the shot, if that makes any sense. Um, and that's because, one, I get more practice for when I'm using my film camera, and I'm not wasting film. And then two, um, it makes me think as a photographer on what I'm framing. So a lot of these times, like some of these shots I see, I'm like, oh, should I take it? Nah, I won't take it. Even though it's like not film. I don't know. It's just me. It's a me thing, I guess. But um, haven't found too many shots yet. I only found like one shot. But we're still hunting. We're still looking. Um, I'm gonna look more on the other side because there's more interesting things. Right now I'm by this railroad track. And I wanted to take a picture of that dumpster. I know, it was dumb, but uh, it was dumpster. <laughs> I'm dumb. Anyways, um, yeah, more shots. Let's go. That's good, you guys. All right, so um, I was around downtown Gilbert and I was walking around and I was just, hopefully I'm not blowing the audio. I'm gonna hold it down here. <laughs> um, so I was just walking around Gilbert, taking photos and uh, doing my thing. And um, photos hopefully come out good. I haven't edited the, <laughs> can't talk, but I did start taking some footage and I'm really happy with how the Canon, nat uh, I think it's called neutral log looks. It looks very good, and um, I haven't colored it yet. But I imagine when it gets into when I get into coloring, the coloring process is going to be so much easier than uh, what was what I was previously doing. But previously with the 5D Mark III, I was taking down the saturation, the hue, the contrast to kind of make my own fake C log in um, in the uh, DSLR system. But now this has its own. Is it focusing? Sorry, this has its own. Um, 
log system, so I don't even have to worry about that anymore. And, and it's kind of nice. And I filmed all at 4K, except for these little talking moments like this. Um, I'm filming at 1080p. And actually right now I'm filming at, I believe it's 2000 or 25,600 ISO. So that's fairly high. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is hella grainy right now, but it looks really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I can't see much grain on the little screen right now. Um, but yeah, uh, good fun day. I'm gonna edit those photos. You guys probably saw the before and afters. Um, and you guys probably also saw the footage. I was able to actually go into Liberty Market and I was doing editing there and I was like, wait a minute. I had like a Peter McKinnon moment. <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna film some coffee in slow motion. And that's exactly what I did. Um, barista she's super nice she allowed she like was going with it and we're just like filming at low position that's what she said Pam? uh my mother's coming that's what she said <clears throat> no she was stamping in the coffee for me she was putting it at, like in the espresso she was letting it run uh um liberty market's such a great place check them out if you live in gilbert um also great coffee but i'm gonna make a little video for them just for for the heck of it because um i'm having fun testing out this camera and um yeah i'll give my thoughts also after i edit this stuff um i've been also using the rode mic and it's been working fairly well i love it um hopefully it sounds really good right now it's not overblown this thing is having a hard time focusing because it's so low light um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, let's get to editing and then I'll come back, be back. All right. Peace. Okay. What is good you guys? So, um, I just finished watching the video I edited uh, as well as finished, uh, putting together those photos. And so far with the R5, I am hella impressed. Um, I am, one thing I did notice is that, and it's not a bad thing at all, is that the original image in the R5 seems to come out a little muted, which is fine because I fix all of that in post-processing, at least to me. Um, when I was shooting with the Canon R, R, the Canon 5D Mark III, um, I changed up some of the settings as far as like the sharpness and the contrast. Um, so I might be used to that maybe, but I haven't changed the standard profile in the R5 yet. Um, I might mess around with it, but I kind of like it low-key, not gonna lie. Um, the photos came out great. They were sharp. They were in tack focus. I felt like I my glass, my um, I I was using the 24 to 70 mainly. It was working fantastically with the EF mount as well as the body. So um, I don't know what else to say other than like it's amazing, <laughs> and I am in love with the continuous autofocus because it's able to track and get whatever I need in like an instant. Um, so freaking cool. So glad Canon did that because I was low key looking at Sony being like, oh no, fun, I might switch you over. <laughs> but um, one thing I did love is the dynamic range. I was able to pull everything from a photo. Like it was a super cloudy day. I felt like I was overblowing my shots a little bit, but one shot in particular with the, um, the white shot of the water tower. I was able to get everything. I was able to get the sky in the, in the, that's most in the foreground, even the sky that was in the background. And um, I was able to pull it. And I was surprised because some of that was overexposed and the shot came out looking freaking dope. Um, having had a chance to shoot it with a person yet, so I really haven't taken a full advantage of the continuous autofocus. But I do plan on it. This Wednesday, I have a shoot with somebody that I'm going to be doing a video as well as... um shooting photos so hopefully i'll be able to record something and show you guys that but um other than that the camera is great it's amazing the road mic too um i was able to um get the settings right and the audio sounds so great some already commented on the other videos saying the audio is overblown i know i said that <laughs> but so far i love this i even added the little dead cat on it so i don't know it makes it look like a duck have you ever seen the ducks with the little afros? They're cute. <laughs> Alright, it's probably going on way too long and I'm just blabbering. I have to wake up at 5 o'clock tomorrow and it's like midnight here. That's why I'm talking so low. This is my radio talk voice or my radio show host voice. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get some sleep because I need it and I'm gonna finish this video. So, peace. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, bye. <laughs>